Hello, I'm Lindsay Warwick and I'm one of the authors of the Roadmap series and in this video I'm going to show you the digital tools that come with Roadmap that you can use in a live online lesson. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Pearson English portal and for me the easiest way is to just type in english.com and then when you uh, get to this page here if you just click on sign in uh, and then Pearson English portal and here you'll be able to create an account if you haven't done one already or you'll be able to sign into your account. Once you sign in it takes you to your dashboard and your dashboard shows you the products that you have access to. So first of all you'll need to add a product. So if you click here You'll be able to then access the long code which you can find on the inside of your teacher's book or you may have been given a code by a sales rep or somebody like that. So enter your code, click on add product and then it will appear like this on your dashboard. So this is your dashboard and you can just click there anytime to get back to it. Now for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to show Roadmap B1+. Plus. And you've got two things here. You've got the presentation tool, which is basically the digital version of your course book with interactive features. And then you have the additional resources that come with the book. And I'll show you those a little bit later. So you can see here, you've got access to all 10 units of the book. Let's just choose unit two. And then you can see that you've got uh, all the main lessons in this unit here. So you've got uh, 2A. 2B, 2C, 2D, and then the check and reflect page at the end of the unit to review the language that's been learnt. And as you know, uh, Roadmap is a very flexible course, so as well as the core units, you've also got these additional develop your skills lessons. These allow you to extend your course or also to adapt your course to meet the needs of particular classes as well. So you've got develop your listening, which which really sort of follows the 2A lesson. Then you've got to develop your writing and develop your reading as well. So you've got them all together in one place. Now let's imagine that I'm going to be teaching 2A in my lesson. So the first thing I'm going to do is plan it. So if I click on plan and it will take me here and you can see that every step of the lesson is uh, given in an individual way. So I can just preview each part very easily. So this is the lesson overview. This is what we can show to students. It shows that the speaking goal in the lesson and also the language that features there. So we click on cross to come out of that. And next to preview, we've got notes. And these are the teacher's notes that you can access. So that's why you're, you're using this to plan your lesson. So if we go to vocabulary one, we'll see that this is the lead into the lesson with discussion questions based on the images. And again, you've got the teacher's notes here as well with tips for weaker classes and so on. If you want to access uh, the teacher's notes all in one go, you can just click on view for lesson plan and then you can see it all step by step but in one place. And of course you've got here, you've got the, the you've got teaching tips, you've got you know advice for weaker classes, for stronger classes, you've got the answer key and so on. So uh, optional extra activities, you've got everything you, you'd have in the teacher's notes are here. So that's what you would use to plan your lesson. But actually in the lesson, you're not going to choose plan, you're going to choose teach. So if we go down here, we'll click on teach. And this is what students will see. You're in your platform. Um, I'm actually in Zoom now. I'm sharing my screen with you, which I'll show you a little bit later. So this is what you can see and this is what, what um, I can see. So we're all looking at the same thing. So we can navigate through each part of the lesson step by step in two different ways. Firstly, we have this option down here called Lesson Flow. Now, if I click on that, because I'm on my laptop, I can't see all the parts because I've got my menu bar in the way here. So it's very easy. You just go over here and click on full screen. And then when you click on Lesson Flow, you'll find that um, you can see it all very clearly. So we've got the lesson summary. We can then just click on vocabulary one, then we've got vocabulary two, and we can just move along that way. Some of these exercises are interactive, so we can give students time to do them. 
uh, they might have their book, uh, they can access that or they can look here on the screen. And then um, when you're checking answers, you can actually either drag and drop or type the answers in. So this is a, an example of one where you type, so you can nominate a student to give an answer and then you could perhaps type it. And then once you've done that, you can, you can uh, check the answers and we can see that we got those two right, but oh dear, we didn't get those right. Uh -uh. But you can show all the answers. So actually you could very simply just show all the answers and then get students to actually check their own. And then you could ask them which one, were there any you struggled with, are there any need help with and so on. It makes them a little bit more independent that way. Um, so the lesson flow, yep, this is how we can follow on, but I just want to show you before I show you the second way, just that um, if we're doing listening, or if you're showing a video, then you can very simply play it within uh, the program here. So you've got the tool open, you just play it here. You don't need to go somewhere else for audio or video. It's embedded here, so it's very simple to Unit use. Unit two, recording two. I'm learning Spanish at the moment. Okay, and so on. So you, you should be able to hear that. So that's that's the audio. Okay, so lesson flow is one way to move through the activities. A second way is by using this toolbar here, and it's the page view. So if I click on page view, then I get the whole spread of the lesson, and you can see these little yellow circles with stars in the middle. So then you click on each one, and it will take you to the particular exercise that you want to do. So some people find this easier. Oh, wrong one. So some people find this easier and some people prefer to use the lesson flow at the bottom. So you have two options there, which is good. Um, let's look a bit more detail in this. So um, we can start, if we start from the top, we've got teaching tools. So we've got some nice opportunities here to annotate on our digital tool. So, you know, if we want to, I don't know, circle something, underline something, perhaps as a particular feature of language in a sentence that you want to highlight. Uh, so you can draw. You can also highlight, actually. And again, you've got different colours, different sizes. You could also hide something if you wanted. So, you know, sometimes students get distracted by what's on the screen. So you just, you might want to hide the options for now, for example. You might want to ask them Give, elicit the main purpose before you then reveal the two options for students to choose from. You can erase it all. And you've got some really nice widgets as well. So we've got a timer widget. So here, and by the way, if you want to use, if you want to move this, you just move it by dragging this here. So this is the timer tool, so you can go up and down in terms of time. And then you just click on play and it will start to count down. Or you can use the stopwatch and you can count up. So that's the timer, which can be very useful to keep people on track. And then if you're playing a nice team game. So um, let's imagine that, I mean, you can play team, team game. For sure, you can put students into pairs or threes. You can give each pair or, you know, a question, a vocabulary review question, for example. They have 10 seconds to quickly collaborate and answer. Uh, and then if they get a point, you give them a point. And you can add teams here. And you can keep adding the scores and so on. And then the last thing is a dictionary, which is very good for independent learning. So let's type in widget. So it comes from the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. So you've got the definition, you've got example sentences. Uh, in fact, you've got lots of example sentences from the corpus. So it can be really, really useful um, for, you know, directing learners to be more independent. So rather than asking you the information, but, you know, having a look at it themselves. Also, if you want to show some more example examples of language in use, then this is a really excellent tool to use. If you want to come out of your widget, then you simply click on the cross, or another thing you can do is just click again here and it will disappear. So we looked at page view. Uh, you've also got teaching notes, so um, you can bring those up if you need to look at them quickly in the lesson. 
You can also bring up a blank page if you like, which is incredibly useful uh, if you want to take a break from something in the book, if you've added an activity of your own, if you just want to um, stop students from being distracted from something in the book, you can bring this up. But of course, it can also act as a whiteboard. And although you might have a whiteboard in your platform, by using this here, it means you don't have to actually come out of your um of this you know of this digital tool you don't have to come out and then go into the whiteboard you can stay with it so you could bring up your teaching tools and then you could use those on here if you like uh, so those are these tools here there's just one thing I'd like to show so I'm going to click on blank to come back to here and I'm actually going to um, I think I probably need to move me a little bit thank you I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to go to lesson 2D because this is at the end of every lesson 2D there is actually a video. Let's go to full screen. Oh, I could have do blue page three. There we go. So there's the go online to the roadmap video. Uh, and if I click on here, we're already online in a live lesson, so it's fine. And you can see that this is the video and we just play it here. And I could actually, of course, hide myself. Sorry if I deafened you there. Um, so you just play the video from within here as well. And then we can make that smaller. Okay, so those that's really the digital tool that comes with Roadmap that provides you with the resources to do your live lessons online. So this is what you will show students. Um, I'm going to just show you one last thing. I've gone back to, I'm going to go back to my dashboard where it shows all my products. And if I go back to B1 Plus, so if you have access to my English lab, if you click on that, it will take you to my English lab. And this is where you can create a blended course. So this is where you can set tasks for learners to do at home outside of the lesson. Uh, and of course, um, what you can do here is you can actually create courses and invite students to join your course. And you can actually set assignments. Uh, by particular dates for students to complete if you want, or they can choose the ones that they want to do, of course. If you set assignments, and, and even if they're doing activities themselves, you can follow their progress in the gradebook. And it's very, very useful because it provides information to you about how well your students are doing, what they've struggled with, and that can therefore inform future lessons. So just very quickly then, if we see, we were looking at unit two, weren't we? So you can see here that you've got, the, the, you've got additional exercises of the vocabulary, grammar uh, and functional language from the, um, uh, from the main unit, from the lessons. And you've also got additional listening, reading and writing as well. And they, those are on top of the develop your reading, writing and reading lessons that are in the digital tool. So that is the, uh, that's my English lab. Now going back to uh, the portal, I'm just going to go back to here because um, I showed you the presentation tool, but I didn't show you the additional resources. So let's click on resources. And these are the additional things that can, you can use to, you know, adapt your course. Um, so you've got all the studio all the students book audio here in one place. You've also got all the workbook audio here in one place. You've also got all the videos here in one place. Uh, but additionally, you've got video worksheets. So if we go to unit two, you'll see here that this is the video that goes along that roadmap, goes alongside that roadmap report. So you can download this as a PDF. Uh, and you could actually send this to students before the lesson so they can complete it while you're in the lesson. Additionally, as well as the video worksheets, there are lots of other materials. You know, as I say, it's a very flexible course. So you can bring in lots of different material to help the particular needs of your class. We've got tests here. So we've got unit tests, achievement tests, mid and end course tests. You've got all the audio and the answer keys. And you can actually download them as PDFs, but also Word documents. So you can amend them to suit the needs of your class. 
And again, you can send them to students to do at home. Uh, you can ask them to do them in test conditions. You could, I suppose, uh, arrange a time after a lesson. You could say, right, um, we're going to end the lesson. I'm going to give you 45 minutes to go away, do this and send me the answers if you want to create test conditions. Photocopyable activities, these are the ones that you get so we've, uh, alongside the main lessons. So we've got one vocabulary and two grammar photocopyable activities for every lesson in the book. Um, so that's a lot of additional material. One grammar worksheet actually is suitable for kind of homework type uh, practice, but the other two are, are very communicative, so they can be done in the classroom. We've also got mediation worksheets where every worksheet guides students towards a mediation skills goal. Um, so they're very useful as well. Then we've got additional pronunciation worksheets to go alongside the, the pronunciation in the main lesson. So again, you could send these to learners before the class so that they can refer to them in the lesson. And there's some additional material here that you can take a look at. The mobile app, for example, provides even more practice for learners and you can click on that and it will take you to a link to download it. So these are the resources that you can use alongside your presentation tool, which is basically your course book created in an interactive way that you can use in your live online lessons.